Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what the Facebook ad structure is within the business manager, the ad manager, um, and everything in between. So guys, this is a topic that people get so wrong, and and I think it's just because there's just not a lot of education out there in terms of how to actually set up your business manager, and in what order you need to do things and how you're supposed to structure it in the correct way. And everyone knows you need to set up a business manager and there's loads of videos on setting up a business manager. However, it's not very clear on how you're supposed to structure your business manager, how you're supposed to structure your, your client's business manager and ad accounts, how you connect them together, where the business suite is, how you connect the pages. But in this video, I'm going to dive into a, a flow chart that I've created that tells you exactly how to structure them and how it should be structured correctly. So let's dive into it. So guys, right from the start, this is your Facebook profile. So you can't run any ads without having a Facebook profile and your clients are going to need to have a Facebook profile as well. So we, we can have them, have them side by side. So you need your Facebook profile, which is your name, not your business name. So don't go making a Facebook account, you know, of your business name or your agency name. It needs to be you as a person and your client has them as a person on Facebook. If the if your client isn't on Facebook, then you need to get them on Facebook. You need to make them make their, a, a personal profile. If they're not on Facebook and you you have to make them a personal profile, then you're going to run into problems when you go through making a business suite because Facebook are going to immediately flag that as fraud because it's very, you know, it's not very common that someone creates a Facebook page and then immediately wants to advertise. That's usually what people that are trying to scam people or, you know, not follow the best practices do on Facebook. So I would kind of try and avoid that. So what I would do is if the, your client doesn't have their own Facebook page, Ask them if someone in the business or a family member has a Facebook page and set up all of this from their Facebook page, but then still using their business information, which I'm going to go through in a second. So as you can see here, you start with a bit a business profile. Once you have your business profile, every single profile has a meta business suite and access to two business managers. And I'm going to explain what these are in a second. And they also have a personal ad account. So an ad account is essentially where you can run ads from. The bit meta business suite is where it's the hosting of your, your, your personal ad account. You can schedule posts in there. You can manage your pages. Um, and it's just a suite of everything, you know, outside of communicating with people on Facebook and using it like an average person. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the suite of all the stuff business. However, in meta business suite, you, if you go down, if you're in meta business suite, you can go to the bottom left hand corner, click help and it, and you there'll be a button that comes up that says switch to business manager. If you don't have a business manager set up, you're going to have to go to business.facebook.com and you can set up a business manager. Now, each personal profile can set up two business managers. So this can be business one or business two. So say you own, uh, I don't know, a dental practice and an agency. One's for your agency, one's for your dental practice. And they're two separate things and these need to be verified with the business information. So when you create your business manager, you're going to type in the business address, the business um, you know, VAT number if you're that registered, um, and all your, you know, the website for the business. So you have two different business managers that you can't request more business managers. You can only have two business managers per, per profile. And under that business manager, this is where you add your pages, your ad accounts. This is where you create your Facebook pixel, you verify your domains, and you add the bank details of you or the client. Um, so if you're not going to run any ads for your agencies, so like for your literal agency to get new clients, for example, then you're not going to have to add your bank details, but you are going to have to do everything else. You're going to have to add your agency um, Facebook page. It might be your personal brand Instagram account. Verify the domain that you use for your agency website and set up a pixel for your agency website in your business manager. So this first business manager should be your agency's business manager. Then obviously, if you are gonna run ads for your agency, you then have your ad accounts. Usually you only get given one ad account per business manager, but you can request more. We've got some business managers that have five ad accounts. And if you, and, and that's kind of potluck to start with, sometimes you'll create a business manager and you'll get given one, sometimes you'll get five. And if you do have five or you do have three or you do have two, it's worth creating all of the ones that you have available just in case one gets banned and you can move to the next because if you do get your one and only ad account banned you can't create new ones however if they're already 
you know, if they're already present and you've already created them, then you can use them. And then you've got your campaign level, your ad set level and your ad level, which I'm going to go through in a second. But like I say, this is only needed if your agency is running ads for your agency to get new clients or for, for whatever reason. But if you're not running ads for your agency, then all you need to do is make sure you have a business manager set up for your agency with your agency business information, um, because that's what's going to connect to all of your clients. Then obviously you've got your personal ad account and your personal ad account you have irrespective if you've created your business manager and you can do that, you can use that under the business suite, but that's also available in your business manager. Um, but you don't want to use this. You don't want to run ads from your, your personal ad account. You're not going to run. And the reason why I say don't create ad accounts under your business manager unless you're running ads for your agency because you're not going to run any client ads from your own ad account. You're going to, like I said in a minute, you're going to create another version of this for your client and you're going to run ads from his business manager, his ad account, but you can connect the two together. So that's how you set up your, that's the structure of the business manager, guys. So you've got your business suite, your personal ad account, which you're not going to use, but you're going to use your, your business manager. This, this is where the professional agencies run their ads. This is how you manage multiple clients at once because you don't want to be running, you know, client ads from your own ad accounts. So You've set that. You've set up your business manager, your agency. You can do that before you even get a client, and I'd really recommend you do. So, if you're sat there and you don't have a client yet, make sure you've got your business manager set up. Make sure you've created a Facebook pixel, pixel, added it to your own agency website. You've connected your pages and your Instagram accounts to the business manager, and it's all set up perfectly. So then you move along, you sign a client, and you know you you make sure they've got a Facebook profile, which I said at the beginning of this video. You know, sometimes you'll you'll sign a client and they will have all of this set up. You know perfectly however 90 percent of the time they're not going to know the facebook you know they're not going to know the login details of their facebook page or their profile because they've not used it in ages they won't have set up any business managers so you're going to have to get on a zoom call and help them set up the business managers help them set up their ad accounts and everything that's everything i'm about to say so very much like you did, they're going to have a business suite. They're going to have a personal ad account, which you're not going to touch. You're going to go straight to business.facebook.com or click the help button at the bottom left of your business suite and switch to the business manager. Once you're in the business manager, you then need to set it up in the same way you set up your own business manager. So you need to add the client's Facebook page, the client's Instagram account, the fake, create a Facebook pixel for them if they don't already have it, then add that Facebook pixel to the website to his website or the funnels you create them. You then need to verify his domains. You need to add the, his bank details. So when you work with a client, they run, all, you're gonna run on their behalf, all of their ads on their ad accounts at, under their business manager account. Therefore, they need to, and you don't see any of that ad spend. It comes directly out of that, your client's bank account. So they need to add their bank details to the business manager level. So you've got two options. You can add a bit, you can add bank details to the ad account level or the business manager level. And you want to add it to the business manager level because you might have several ad accounts and one might get banned. Um, so, so once you've set up the, you, you know, you've, you've done all of the following here and set up and I added all of his business information, got his pixel sorted, his domain sorted, his pages are connected correctly. He then has a solid business manager. You're not going to create the second one unless he has multiple businesses. Um, we do that quite a lot when we work with clinics who also have an e-commerce brand. We'll put the e-commerce brand under business manager two and the clinic under, under business manager one. And then obviously underneath both of these business managers, they're going to have one to five ad accounts connected to them very much like yours. And then under those ad accounts, this is where you're going to run your Facebook ad campaigns. You're going to create the campaign, which is where you choose the objective of the campaign. And this video is not to talk about how to run campaigns, but just, I'm just I just want to cover it really quickly. And then under the campaign level, you have the ad set level where you choose your targeting and in a standard campaign under, you know, each campaign, you're going to want to have five different ad sets, which have five different targeting options, whether that's warm up targeting options, cold targeting options. And then under each of those five targeting options, so each of those five ad sets, you want four creatives and that's how you start your testing process. And if you're in the academy, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here because we have a very in-depth testing strategy in terms of you know, each of those five audiences, what do they need to be? One needs to be a warm, the other cold, and how we structure everything in copious amounts of detail. So, uh, but, the, but like I said, this video is not about that. 
So now you've got your business manager set up, you've got the, you understand how the ad accounts get set up under each business manager, you do the same for the client, and then what you need to do so that you have access to your clients, because at the minute, you know, you've just got your setup, you've just set up his or hers, you need to then get gain access to his business manager, therefore giving you access to his ad accounts to manage all of these assets you've just connected, you need to become admin access. So what you do is you go into the business manager, you go to people and you add the user, you add the email that your personal profile is set up behind as a person to the business manager. You can also set up your, your agency's business manager as um, partner access to his business manager. So essentially what that does is all of his assets will then appear under your business manager under management and that's under partner access. However, I would recommend being added as a person so because that's how you can gain you can gain more business managers. So you can only create two business managers, but you can be the manager of unlimited business managers, which is going to be useful because if you for some reason set up something wrong here and you've only got partner access, it's going to be more difficult to troubleshoot it because you're going to have to get on him on a call to then add you to the new assets that you create. Whereas if you're a person, you've just got complete, you know, your complete reign on that business manager to make changes, to troubleshoot, to add new pixels, to add custom conversions, etc. Um, so what you essentially have, guys, is a structure of your agency ad account, which stays the same, and then any new client that you get. So say you come along and you sign. Mr. Dentist number two, you then just need to become admin access of this one as well. Sorry, those arrows are, are crazy. So yeah, you, you, so you then add, you become admin access of client number two and so on. So when you go into your business manager, you're going to be able to switch between client one business manager ad, and, and manage all of the ad accounts and ads. Then you can go to client two, see his business manager, manage all of his ads. And that's how you do it correctly. And what majority of people and how they do it wrong is they'll make an ad account, they'll either run client one and clients two ads from their personal ad account, which is a big no-no, because that means the, the money's going to be coming out of your, your agency bank account, and it shouldn't. Each client should be paying the platform directly. Or you're going to you're gonna run ads from their, the client's personal ad account, which is a big no-no, because you, you need to do things properly. Um, or you're gonna people are going to get stuck in the business suite and be like, Harry, I don't know how to get out of the business suite. What's a business manager? But like I say, the business suite is very different to a business manager. And you get you create a business manager through business.facebook.com. And then you go through and create your ad accounts. And therefore, and then when you go into an ad account, you can create your ad campaigns and run them from there. But this is a super important process in onboarding a client. But hopefully this kind of flow chart here helps you see how it all works and how it all fits together. But hopefully you enjoyed that video, guys. If you found this video useful and you want to dive a bit more deep into the complex structures that we use day in, day out for our agency clients, then click the link in the description. Check out the Digital Culture Academy because we've just uploaded a brand new meta ads module, which has over 25 videos in, which tells you exactly what we do in terms of how we test different campaigns, how we test those different five targeting options and the different ads beneath it, and then how we scale those campaigns and what type of ads to run under each of these ad sets and it's really complex it's super useful and if you're at the stage where you want to take your ad campaigns to the next level and you really want to learn how to you know get clients good results because you want to keep them longer than two months then it's going to be super useful click the link in the description the price is increasing on the 1st of may 2023 which is in three days time from posting this video so check it out you know, make a decision when you, whether you want to get involved. If you have any questions at all on the Academy, drop me a message on Instagram, Harry underscore SMMA, and I can answer any of your questions. Um, but hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Hopefully it clears up a few things and it puts things into perspective of how to do things properly. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow at 9am.